Well, folks, the time has come because now I'm not in Walt Disney World anymore. I think it's time for me to head back to my theme park. This time, it's Fright Fest. Let's get this scary thing started. Oh my god, you just came back, but you never take away from me, <laughs> he's back. Ah, it's a cobweb! That doesn't really narrow it down. He's alive! Oh man, great to be back home here for this part of the land making in the world. Since last year, I've done it two times here of Fright Fest, but it seems like I'm only doing one for this year, and it may be tough enough though, because the last day of the Fright Fest is on October 31st. So it looks like we got some plenty of attractions around here in between for those, and a lot of uh, decorations are set. So without further ado, let's get on to the attractions to see what we got. Well, it looks like the Fright Fest is about to begin because it's starting to get dark. It looks like we're about to be heading to our first attraction here at the frontier of the land. And I'm gonna tell you, the kids' boo fest is now on the right side of it. And look at that color up her hair. Nice decals popped up. Orange, black, and purple. That's very nice. This turned to be a ghost town. I'm just gonna tell you why, because I've never done it before. That is insane. Here it is. Exile of the canyon really wants it to stop the valley from the dead. And I would pro prove you can't tell you why. I've walked in it the last time I was looking inside right over here. This one over here got very dark about the last time by last year. And there you can see the log flume is right over there. Yep, but now I can't even it will have to wait for next year's season. Looks like that El Toro is not in operation for the season. Yeah, I know that that the news thing has already had happened. Sometimes it just went to a close down major nightmare. So I'm thinking they should replace the hybrid coaster of El Toro. That's my prediction, but I'm not going to, I'm not gonna find out for sure because, because that coaster really turned out to be a halt uh, by then. So yeah, the only attraction that was closed is El Toro. So yeah, only went on once, but it looks like I'm not gonna ride that one here again because it's closed already. Yeah, sorry, but next season will happen again. Wow, this place over here seems quiet to me. I mean, no monsters yet, but soon you will see it. So you'll have to find out for me instant. I gotta say, it's in between those guys. It's tough though, not to mention. It's very hard to uh, deny that once this comes out, monsters pop out. They would never try to like treat on you like you died, like you did. Even Red Son of Beast here in this land of a ghost would have been out here so far. Our first ride of the night is Medusa. This is our first stop here since there was a new paint job 
And as you can tell about the front, it's been finished. Here's the reveal of the Medusa sign. They have done. They've completed all the work. Look at that. That's a nice picture here of Medusa on this on the display. I mean, this is awesome. Very nice job. And that's how this finishes. Yeah, because by the time I was back then, it wasn't uh, it wasn't made already. But now you know. This looks very awesome. Anyway, let's get to the ride. Medusa time. We'll see you all in the next update. Oh my gosh, Medusa above the track. I mean, that was success. I'm telling you this one why, because uh, Medusa was in my number five spot. But I'm gonna say uh, this is my uh, last attraction to ride this for the season because Holiday in the Park is just a couple months away before uh, before Fry Fest comes to an end so far. So I gotta tell you this one here, this was the best run. Definitely tell you this one here from every element of this run. Corkscrew, the loop, the half pipe. I mean, wow, that's uh, that is crazy. I like that one a lot. Successful for the uh, ultimate five of my list. Successful on the A list. Here it goes. I'm gonna show you this angle over here from the Medusa of this section. Don't worry about that. I can only get this one loop. Well, if we can go on. Here it comes. So the good news is we're heading to King Ka for the next attraction. There he is, you can see my dad here. Uh, I think that was last year. I can remember that one here for sure. So it looks like it's a nice display in the background over there. I think it's a great photo for you if you enjoyed Medusa. But it looks like uh, we're heading back to get out of this uh, deaf uh, part of a canyon over there. So it looks like we're gonna head over to the Golden Kingdom because King the Cod's back open, so we'll keep you guys uh, posted for another update. Well, this sudden bad boy of the runaway mine train, sadly, not in operation. Which is good because this is the time I rode this and it was, and my knees are like painful. So good thing I'm not riding this again because it is, because the lower body is giving me uh, lots of, lots of pain, pain on my, on my legs. So yeah, they also, I'm gonna say, hurt your knees on this on this attraction. So yeah, sorry, hurt your knees, you're done. Something new over here. It's the Boo Fest here for the, at the Bugs Bunny National Park. So I would prefer if, you, if you're a kid and you got family here and you're gonna really enjoy, you should go ahead and go right over here if they are not scared of anything. But this time, I'm not here for this one. I'm not enjoying with the fun. So it looks like I'm gonna cross over to that side over here. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is the only place that I've, I've never seen them here before, but this is what I remember here from my memories. Arnold Cape Man, nobody's working because right now it's, there's no employees working over here. And now you know, Plaza the Carnival is now a how at the carnival on the other hand because now this coaster is left to rot in operation. Well, sort of. There they are, the bloodshed. This is the entrance over here. Look at that people. I'm gonna tell you why, because they really want to get in this uh, walk through attraction. This is probably the same thing just like the Halloween Horror Night. I'm never gonna lie, they wanna get in there and they wanna go right from here. There they are, monsters. Get ready to scare your depths of your nightmares. If you don't subscribe, you will be enforced with the monster at this point. You better do what I tell you to do. 
This line over here is a forgotten carnival since I was never showing you that over there. Yeah, look at that line. I mean, in the near future, I will try doing a scary maze because I know most people really love scary maze. I never tried it before, but, I, but hopefully later, by the next, it will happen here again. So I will see what will happen. Good to see uh, King the Cop back open again. Since we come here two times while this attraction wasn't open yet, but now it is. Outstanding their ride. I mean, I was, I was freaking like a freaker. That's because now the, the water in my eyes was blocking my whole view of it. And it was super fast. Wow, I was like shouting all over the place. I mean, King of Cars coming in, not five, but four, replacing El Toro because it was fast, how uh, it does turn out. I like that, I like a top hat right behind it, like this size. That's like a, a very nice knee hill. Speaking of it, I'm walking to the next side of it. It's already get dark over here. I'm gonna have to end it to go on that side. See you later. The lights are on. That's for the exit for the bloodshed. But it's too dark to see it over there. Now you can see it coming. Yeah, sorry with the uh, blurry segment of the of this camera, but. Don't be surprised if you see the uh, car, you can see it better than me, because the lights are on. Uh, before I get back into this one, if you would like to check out the the last Fright Fest video here, I have the info popped up on your screen. The first one I have, and the second one I will uh, give it to you by the time I go to the other rides and set, so. Pretty uh, crowded here. That was me and dad, last visit here in 2021. So it's gonna be happening here again, once more. And from here and there, I mean, the dark place has already been pulling out, out of my mind. It's just the thing I really need to know. Now I'm heading over to the next ride, Green Lantern. I'm gonna try to avoid the bumpiness of my ear. So yeah, I'm gonna see what I can definitely do. Beast really needs some fearness to escape the pain from here. Who's this? It's Eric Rose. <laughs> and they got a lot of stage here in Kentucky from here. Nice mask. And Twister, I'm sorry, but still need a friend. Okay, just got off of Green Lantern and Superman. Two rides were great, but I had to wait very long to ride this attraction of the Superman because it was too long to wait for an hour. And yes, I was kind of messed up. I should have gone the faster way to get there. It should have been just like this. But like I said before, sorry Slingshot. I think there will be an open spot for me for next season as well. We're halfway there, but we got a couple more rides here and then we got to head out because this time everything's turning dark. I think I'm there's a nightmare in my theme park. Trust me, it is. I mean, look at that, wow. That's extremely, uh, extreme line to get in the uh, scary maze. But so far, however, we are getting out of here, this place, and we're gonna head over to that side. I think it's time for the next attraction. Well, you'll see, I'm out of here. Okay, this is one I did not go on last year. It looks like a Joker is about to take its next spot. Okay. Well, that's done. I guess that Joker was all right. Made that one better than last year that we didn't get to ride it. So, yeah, I think we're down to one last ride. And that will be Jersey Devil down there. Wow, look cars. It looks like the monsters have popped out right over here, right by Joker. I think I'm gonna head to my last ride down there. 
a long way down, it's gonna be a long one. Now don't get me wrong, because this is getting really dark over here. Looks like we got one ride left. I got something else to say about the ride. Top three in my list, and I think I have the second one here for you. It's back for more Fright Fest on the calling card with Big Frost Mike. If you're interested in it, I would uh, go ahead and recommend that part. You'll see. Maybe in between those two won't be that bad. Looks like the boat remote is no longer to be used anymore. There is time in Sydney. They're now using it up their way. I mean, you got, they got some monsters over there. But a lot of music going on. Oh, that's really amazing. For the double, it's Jersey Devil, it's the number one ride on my list. It's gonna be really wicked to be riding this attraction at night. Yeah, I remember this one. It's gonna be a really wacky on this ride, but it's part of the season. It's gonna be wicked at night. I'm gonna be thrilled at this point to get on the attraction. So, with that, best attraction ever. Let's get on to this one. See you all next time. All right, you good, buddy? See you when you get back. This really was the best. I'm never gonna lie, when I make a video of a top 10 attractions at Six Flags Great Adventure, I will tell you about this one. Very tough one's gonna go by. So you will have to stay tuned for next year as I will be doing the uh, top 10 rides here at Six Flags Great Adventure. That will be the narrow thing I would like to do that one here for so far. Well, as it, time is flying by, I think it looks like that it's time to go it's eat. It's time to go, yeah, time to go starve. It's time to, I'm gonna try to like put some blood on it anyway. So that is it for the ride. Medusa one, Kinda Kai one, Green Lantern, Superman Ultimate Flight, Joker, and of course, the Jersey Devil. Yeah, those are the rides. Um, I'm gonna have to come back next time that I didn't get to go on it that. So it looks like I'll have to come back here again so yeah that's it folks with that one huge success of the fright fest thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe because if you don't i will be facing your nightmares here from my channel so you better do what i ask you to do or you'll be sorry so with that six flags fright fest a success what a great night here at this theme park see you next time peace out for a while as the six flags fright fest style Happy Halloween, folks. If you don't, somebody will.
subscribe now. Ha, 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 ha.